So we're going to move into the general discussion, but we're going to do something uh, different here, and this will be the first of several cameo appearances that have been selected <laughs> by the uh, organizers to cover topics that are uh, directly germane to the topic of the meeting but aren't uh, covered elsewhere, and these are kind of sound bite items. They're intended to be very brief presentations of exciting things to help kick off uh, the discussion. So um, in that context, Dr. Tammy Benzinger from the University of Washington in St. Louis is going to talk about some uh, totally cool findings from the dominantly inherited Alzheimer's disease network, right? Thank you, Tim. All right, thank you. So this will be uh, very brief. The clock says I have 25 minutes, but I think Molly will be very upset if I take that much time. <laughs> so I'm going to talk to you about some of the work that's going on in autosomal dominant Alzheimer's disease. And so this is the dominantly inherited Alzheimer network. Um, we have over 400 participants worldwide in this study that does a very thorough uh, clinical, uh, cognitive, and biomarker evaluation. So um, just to give you a sense of this, um, the study's divided into carriers, genetic carriers of presenolin-1, presenolin-2, or amyloid precursor protein, as well as their siblings who are non-carriers. Um, and these genes have a greater than 99% penetrance, and people tend to get their symptoms at the time of the onset of their parents. So it, it's a way that we can think about bridging this gap between animal models of Alzheimer's disease and human studies with Alzheimer's disease. Um, and so um, just to show you this breakdown, a couple of points about this group. They're very young. So you can see the ages of people that we're talking about are <laughs> People who are in their, uh, by and large, they're getting symptoms in their 40s. So if, I, uh, if I'm age 46 and my mother developed Alzheimer's at age 50, I would be considered four years prior to that onset of symptoms. And so using this, we've been able to drive a lot of very powerful models of what's going on with Alzheimer's disease before symptom onset. And this is just a video showing you a difference in the amyloid PIB PET scans. Um, modeled between the carriers and non-carriers starting here about 25 years before their symptom onset. And what you can see as this progresses is we're, you know, we're 20 years before they have symptoms and they're already developing a significant accumulation of amyloid. You can see it appearing here in the frontal lobe, more posteriorly in the precuneus. Um, we're still about five years before symptom onset. And now at time zero, this is around the time of that change in cognition as they go on. Um, and they do continue to accumulate amyloid um, throughout that lifespan. Um, a flip side of this question, though, is uh, what about that other 1%? So I said they have 99% penetrance, but um, we do have uh, some, ex uh, some potential within the Diane cohort of people to uh, have resilience and not have symptoms. And so I was just going to show you one example of what that looks like. So this is an asymptomatic participant in the study. He's uh, well over 10 years past that anticipated age of onset, so greatly aberrant from the rest of the data set. Um, has actually a quite normal appearing MRI scan. Um, but if you look at his amyloid PIB-PET scan, this is widely positive. And if you look at this, this SUVR number 3.6, this is, this is extremely high, even in the setting of um, sporadic Alzheimer's disease, people with dementia. Um, he does also have a positive tau PET scan with his AV1451 um, and has hypometabolism on his FTG scan. So I think this gives us a lot of open questions about what, what's going on in the face of such overwhelming pathology. Um, what are the factors, be they genetic or environmental, that are uh, providing resilience to a person like this? And um, perhaps this genetic study can give us other ways that we can explore um, biomarkers and cognition. That's all. <laughs>